Hey YouTube, I'm trying to do better about posting more videos and just staying more active on the site. Um, I keep saying that I made this channel to deal with my depression and just trying to clear my head. It'd be so much on my mind and all of that stuff. So we just gonna hang out. Um, yeah, of course, there's so much going on. Anyway, <sighs> but I don't want to talk about that depressing stuff. No, we can't ignore it. Um, and acting like it's not happening isn't going to make it go away. But I don't have the answers right now, and it hurts me. And I think this is the wrong dose of my medicine, and I'm going to be knocked out. I'm gonna have to call this doctor. Um, but yeah, I hope that you all, despite what's going on, still had a wonderful day. Despite what's going on, God still blessed us with a beautiful day with the sunlight and the beautiful weather. Um, and yeah. I enjoyed my day. To I finally made it to my doctor's appointment, getting things back on track. Um, me and the doctor already had the same game plan in place in mind, so I didn't even have to say too much. It's just some things that are bothering me, but I'm I'm gonna work it out some kind of way. God will work it out some kind of way. Uh, Mm. excuse me uh. but yeah so I don't know what to talk about with y'all and I wish I had like some more subscribers so you guys could interact with me I'm literally talking to myself trying to clear my mind and uh, I wish got someone would talk back um I guess that's it though despite what's going on and what we see right now we really have to stay strong-minded even though it's very hard we cannot get unfocused we can't get we can be upset we have every right to be upset we have every right to be angry and worried and all of that stuff but we have to remember that god is and will always be in control and all of this is part of a bigger plan i don't know where the hell he's going with this plan but i know that god always comes through right on time so this is gonna of course get way uglier before the beauty cons but of course you have to see the ugly to appreciate the beauty um it's gonna take all of this that's going on for our modern day malcolm x's and martin luther king's and our past civil rights people that stood up for us for ours to come out now it's going to take all of this for it to happen, for ours to be shown into the light, for them to come out into the light, for our modern day problems that we're dealing right dealing with right now. And it's not much that has changed. That's the sad part. But it's just, this is a new time and we have to go about things very different now because... I was watching a pastor, and I want to say it was my pastor, Pastor Hamilton at New Morning Light Baptist Church in Conley, Georgia, and he said, we're not, we're not fighting, um, we're not fighting laws and stuff like black people can't go here or this is for colored people only we're fighting a whole mindset of a, a built-in systematic mindset that's being oppressed onto people 
and it's gonna take a whole lot of new stuff a whole lot of new techniques and new ways of going about stuff to fight a mindset to break a, a negative mindset down to get them to change their ways to get those to change their ways that are completely lost and ignorant and just hate for no reason just for no reason um it's gonna take a mental a strong mental mindset to break literally a system of hate and it's been dealt with and accepted for so long like it's gonna be really hard and i think i think it will take some violence like I think it's going to take violence and love to prove our point. Like, they they doing what they doing because they can, because they want to, because they're getting off. They're getting raises for it. Ain't no telling. Like, they're getting praises for it, for doing what they're doing. And it's just not right. It's It's not right. It's just going to be a whole lot of having to just just stay down. Like, literally have to stay down. This is the time to wake up. This is the time to learn. We should have been new our laws. We should have been uh, teaching our kids all of this stuff knowing that things have not changed that much at all it's just a new decade a new year with the same bullshit and the only thing is that like will smith said racism never went anywhere it's just being recorded more because y'all done put a fool up here on the damn pedestal as the president of the fucking world who's an open racist an open pedophile open pervert all of this shit just does not have any respect for human people other than his self and his money it's just it's just okay now. Everybody is free to feel free to show their true colors now. And now it's going to take for us to show our real true colors. And the, the fact that we just have some of our own people that are still so ignorant to what is going on right in front of them and going about things the wrong way right now. I think that, like I said, it'll have to be some violence, but organized violence, if that makes sense. Like, don't just be out here ignorant with the shit. Like, if you doing whatever the fuck, let it have a real meaning. Let let stand for something. Know what the hell you're standing up for. Know full facts, details, and all of that on what the hell you're trying to prove your point for um because right now we just got niggas out here on the bandwagon and literally niggas out here on the bandwagon and then you got our black people out here trying to teach i'm nowhere on the radar i can't say that i know this and that about every damn thing because I'm don't when it to be honest, like I'm very ignorant when it comes to the laws and how they pertain to me and my black kids, my black little boys. I all I know right now is that I'm worried as hell. All I know now is that I'm stressing at the fact that my son is seven years old and eventually. I'm going to have to sit him down right now to to have a conversation with him about how to if an officer comes up to you and any or any fucking thing that it it could be ugly and how to try to fucking prepare yourself for that if this fool ain't no damn fool coming up to my baby in the first place like it's it's so 
sad like it really hurt me that i read something where they was like it does not matter how much wisdom and respect we pour into our black boys or our black children they will still there's still that great possibility that they can just be taken away because of the color of their skin because of the fact that they know the greatness that our people have in us they know they know that we are great and that's what all of this is they know the truth and trying to keep us down that trying to keep our history and stuff from us but we coming out now and now it's just we need to show them the right way that we know what's up with us instead of going about it in the nigga way this is what they want this is what they want but it's like just walking into a trap like this is exactly what they want us to do right now to go forward with their low bullshit evil ass plans but i just had to get that off of my chest and i'm just being a black woman and a mother of two black boys, I am afraid and I am worried and I am hurting for all of these people, all of the black men and children and women, everybody that's just been killed for no reason. And I, I want to do something about it. It's how do you go about it the right way? And our voice is going to come in numbers like all of these people popping all of this on facebook and making videos like i'm doing now speaking my piece we need to put all of this together and figure out how to organize some shit the right way like the black men and women and geniuses that we are and put some shit together the right way and show them and make them listen this is not the way to do it though. Um, that's what it needs to be about. Like just coming together as a people, putting differences aside as a people and get our right back to, shit, we never had a right, but get our rights to live. Like y'all brought us here. Y'all brought us here to do the greatness that we did. But then you want to hate us and all this. You should be fucking praising us. You would, It wouldn't be no America if it was not for us. If it was not for Native Americans. If it was not for Latinos. Like, come on. If it was not for the brown people, y'all white asses would be fucking lost. Still in the damn caveman fucking mountains fucking each other in the ass and bears and shit like let's let's be real serious oh my god this is the time to be praying this is the time to be learning your laws this is the time to just be in survival mode for real learning if some shit hit the fan you need to learn how to plant something that you know you and your children can eat safely and live off of it for x amount of however um this is the time to be going into straight survival mode for real for real this is not the time to be fucking stealing iphones and stealing out of forever 21 like come on you finna be on lockdown in this bitch again for ever after all this shit is said and done wearing that stolen forever 21 if your ass ain't in the jail set or, or in the fucking casket before then let's just be honest about it but i don't know i don't want i can't I had to get some of it off my chest because I'm I'm I gotta get back off of Facebook because you just see the shit. I already stopped watching the news. It's always been so depressing to me. I can't deal with it. I I just don't need it because my mind wanders. Like I'm I'm a mother of two little boys. My I just go into that mother mode of worrying and how can I but. How can I fix this for my child's future? How can I 
how can I make this right for other people, kids? It's babies being born every day, left and fucking right. And this world is shitty as fuck. And it's like, I want to fix it, but there are no answers right now. But I know that there are. It's just, it's going to take more people with this same mindset to come together. And y'all are not ready to come together right now. And that makes me angry. So, like I said, we can't, I can't ignore it and pretend that it's going to go away. I know that does not work, but I don't have the answers and I feel bad. I don't know how to fix this, but I want to and I feel bad. I am in no position to fix it right now and I feel bad. So... If you hear this, if you come across this, just know, like, it takes unity and togetherness right now. Let's be the black geniuses that we are and not the ignorant people that they look at us and how they treat us. I know we have the answers in our communities if we would just come together in the right organized and intelligent way that I know we can. We are the most educated people across the damn board when it comes to degrees and everything. Let's use them the right way. Let's put it this stuff. Where's the damn degrees and common sense, guys? Where's the damn degrees and unity and peace and wanting to stand for something for real, for real, instead of just showing your ass? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Just this is just a time to be praying for real. God is in control. We have to always remember that. And if you feel you have an idea, let God use you. Open your voice up and put it out there and you never know who may be right under your nose that's feeling the same way and may have connections and resources but something's gotta happen because this is not gonna be pretty at all and just for the sake of these babies that are being born every day no matter what color they are they don't deserve none of this they don't deserve any of this um, so that's my little piece on it. I just had to get it off of my chest. So, ugh.